my name is sachin sakrena and in this video i'll provide crucial and strategies to help your resume stand out and pass ats whether you are new to the job market or a seasoned professional these insights will increase your chances of securing more interviews and catching the attention of top employers if you want to improve your resume and optimize it for ats this video is essential for you so let's get started from this cv on the screen you can see this is the ats format question arises whether should i create this cv which is the fancy one or this simpler one so the answer is this cv is useful when you are going for offline job or you are applying some non it company but in case of it companies or in case of uh, ai based uh, hr recruiting process or analysis process you will have to go for ats format now i as i said this is not the valid one you will have to go you will have to follow ats format which is defined on the left hand side but question is what to write in this cv so here are few sections you will have to mention you can include in your cv first one is resume sar- summary i'll discuss in few minute how to add resume summary in your cv second one is the work experience education internship achievement projects and the extra curriculum activities if you have and anything else that makes you stand out you can add in your cv accordingly but make sure you are following the same sequence in order to illustrate each one of these sections achievements regarding your uh, uh, field you regarding your uh, uh, better performance regarding your strength everything next part here we have how to write about your work experience use action words for example directed managed these are the mature words and for example spreaded instead of duties included so make sure you are not writing very uh, iota kind of words or very novice kind of words rather you are choosing the mature one words as i have already mentioned that these are the uh, bit 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 uh, bit uh, directed one managed and spreaded it right so these are some useful word i i have already mentioned here these are the manager skills communication skills in case you are going through the manager skills you can include any of these words i'm not saying all all words should be included in your skills or in your cv but pick as per your choice for example developed for example reviewed for example scheduled for example supervised i supervise this project in cloud based project in case you are illustrating communication skills so you can use mediated one or lectured i just enlisted in this cv right i can arrange in this cv i just addressed in my uh, uh, previous employer or in the same fashion you can go for the technical skill as far as these advanced or mature words are concerned they are very very um, ai tools friend friendly so you can write like upgraded in my skills or i just repaired my skills or i computed my uh, statistic skill or cloud based skill right and so on so these are uh, i'll share these list or this ppt in the uh, description box so here is the next point very important to get short listed so why it is important more than 90 company 90% companies now use this software called ats application tracking system to shortlist software checks keywords to match job description for example if your job description is data analyst machine learning engineer or data engineer data scientist so you will have to go through the job description first later on you can prepare according to this jd you need to include relevant keywords in your cv we will show i'll show the cv how you can match or how you can include and what kind of words will be lacking in your cv according to jd finally we will 
include CV based on the specific job, right? That's very much important. So as far as resume summary is concerned, we can see not required for fresher. In case if you are fresher, you do not supposed to include resume summary in your ATS format. So although you have seen in the uh, traditional method and traditional way that they are included, they are saying that this is a mandatory part. It's a compulsory to include resume summary. But now in this these era where we are having AI based tracking system, we do not that's not required for fresher. In case you have experience one, you 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 are you are having experience, then you can include not more than three sentence. You just mention your experience, top achievements, and what type of role you are looking for, right? This was the all about resume summary. I would say. Now I'll discuss these three, these two, uh, these two engine or these two online websites in in this portal, so that we can go ahead with the scanning part. All right, let me show this part here. So I'm going to open this CV, and this CV would be, can you see? This would be the, this is the non ATS format, but it's looking looking very fancy, looking very attractive. So I I would suggest that do not spare such kind of CV if you are applying any online job or IT company based job, right? Rather, you just go through the based, go through the uh, this one. rather go through the ATS format right so I had included every section but in the fancy water what's the problem in this CV I'll discuss discuss in this in couple of minutes now I am going to show this one is the ATS format it looks very simple straight format no fancy fonts no heterogeneity but we have a straight format all we had I had mentioned all the sections in a sequence way all right so let's discuss here I have opened one of the resume worded uh, portal where we can get a new resume. You can access your resume LinkedIn review. You can access resume build uh, bullet point builder. How you can get into you just click on the login or you can create your own profile here. I'm just logging with my Google account. I'm just in now it's saying you can uh, access these services from this portal you can go for the dashboard or you can build your own resume of course some of these services will be paid but i won't suggest you just go through the paid one because the free services are more than sufficient i'm going to upload my resume in either in the pdf format or in the desktop doc format so i'm going to upload in the pdf format now and it's a scanning one by one so you can change your uh, level, whether it is mid level, uh, lower level, starting level or junior level or the advanced level. Once it has been pruned or screen everything here, it's just giving all these scores. So what's the impact? I just I'm just lacking in these points. For example, for impacting numbers, these are the repeating one recruiters are you should add more hard numbers into your CV right so 30 percent bullets quantified right so i'll have to add more bullet points then then i'll be having more score here so recruiters are looking for evidence of impact and hard numbers right so this is the weaker and stronger later on it's just observed there are repeating lines in my cv so i'll have to keep in mind i do not repeat everything so if you are checking manually so you would say okay so there is no nothing repeating in my cv everything is fine from my side but when you scan using these ai based tool or using this resume words in order to check your score you will find these are the repeating numbers the last one and this one is the repeating one all right so can you see this one is the first part if i go for the uh, uh, the strength one so this resume is very good using bullet points is again access this total bullet points is passed so the filter words is not found so i can go for the paid one or i can check manually here right so what kind of styles is here buzz words are not there we, we found some buzz words i'll have to uh, remove these words word dates is not in the proper format i'll have to format this date word 
date format sections what kind of section i have will fix your fix, fix your education sec section i'll have to make the uh, in a proper way or you can keep in the same word it's looking uh, properly so or if i go for the skill then i can go unnecessary sections these are the unnecessary sections i can remove or or go for this one right so now the second website we have the jobskin.com.co so using the same again provide your google uh, credentials gmail credentials you can get in very easily in this portal and here i am just scanning the same cv but if i show new scan here so i just paid not the paste i just drag and drop and upload my cv here the same cv i am just uploading here and just pasting my job profile here this job description is relevant to ml engineer and data scientist so i just i'm just comparing this one so i'm going to scan so first i the in the first way the first impression it's just showing ats tip so it's showing at missing is information something is missing as per the uh, job profile what's the role i'm looking for i'm hankering for the data scientist or machine learning engineer contact information can you see everything passed here job title you know, job title match education match everything is just passed here skill comparison in my cv azure is mentioned three times but in job description it was mentioned seven times so that's not fine uh, that's uh, that's not an issue your resume must must be least or the equal one it should match match the job description keywords for example atf ats is three times mentioned in my resume but so only one time mention in the job description data bricks is not mentioned i'll have to include one or at least one two data bricks relevant project so that i will get more score here because job uh, data bricks is required for this particular job description reverse engineering is like again here you can go for the highlight skills that's it so moral of the story is you can go for the uh, you can increase your match rate once you have uploaded or you have created your cv all right coming back to the cv portal here what kind of cv we are looking for we are looking for the uh, basic ones so send files as first name so as you can see my file name was in a proper way not the uh, priya cv priya data scientist or uh, sachin data ml engineer or a cool guy uh, 13 years experience not in formal way but should be in a proper way saksena sachin underscore saksena and experience that's it send pdf file not as the word file and then you can include these words from some words you can pick up some words from the job description as well choose that very neat template i'll share this template in the job description in the uh, video description below so that you can access and you can change as to your requirement first point the one point and if you are having if you are having experience less than 10 years so your cv must be one page only 10 or more than 10 years can have two pages max so what what are the things we should not follow so don't make bold claims that cannot be backed up don't let the duties focused on accomplished right don't use personal pronouns i have done this project in previous employer me for me it was very difficult to accomplish this project do not use me i words my team is very enthusiastic no do not use these words we are learning cloud computing no we are attending cloud classes no do not use these words right do not include unprofessional email id uh, priya cool at the rate gmail.com or sachin uh, sachin baba at the rate yahoo.com so do not use these unprofessional email id so do not use the photo and dob you can see if you remember that i in my ats format there was no for no photo or no image was there because uh, obviously ai is not going to scan your c your your image it's just scanning your uh, your words natural language processing based technique is there so image processing is not there don't bold too many words right 
and common mistakes use grammarly in order to check your grammatical errors use chat gpt either you can go for the typos error so make sure you are making more than two lines inconsistent font size line spacing being unethical like disclosing confidential information in your cv that's also uh, like not required right so you must have not more than two pages right technical aspects these are the technical words you just follow these uh, uh, these uh, these criteria these the these characteristics for your word so you can just go through this, these words right so for example you're looking for ml engineer this is the job description sample job description uh, other job description you can find from linkedin or the fresher words or the uh, uh, times jobs or any other job profile uh, com uh, profile portal you just copy that job profile and just match your cv what is the score of your current ats format once you have completed all your ats format this was the the ML engineer and data scientist summary or the job sample one you can go through this part as well right so this is the again ATS format you can see very simple very straightforward and you can create as per your requirement thank you thank you very much